China has begun a ban on live grouper imports from Taiwan. The ban was announced last Friday and took effect today. China claimed it had found two prohibited chemicals, malachite green and crystal violet, as well as excessive levels of oxytetracycline. China's ban is the latest of several moves against Taiwan imports. After bans on pineapples, sugar apples and wax apples, Taiwan's agricultural ministry has decried Beijing and said it may take the issue to the World Trade Organization. The ministry said it would provide marketing support to fish farmers affected by the suspension. Live grouper is one of Taiwan's major aquatic exports. Last Friday evening, China said it had found banned drugs multiple times in Taiwan's grouper products. It said it would suspend the import of all Taiwanese grouper starting June 13th. I hope that China will respond to us positively. If it does not, we don't rule out going to the Committee on Sanitary and Phytosanitary Measures of the World Trade Organization to file a complaint about this issue. There has never been another country that directly suspended all imports due to a substance exceeding the standard. At most, the shipments are destroyed or returned. We believe that China is in non-compliance with international norms. Since last year, China has announced twice that Taiwanese grouper failed inspections, but a review conducted by Taiwan did not detect impurities. This January, China suspended live grouper from two Taiwanese farms. Taiwan authorities once again conducted its own inspection, but found no evidence of banned drugs. It made repeated failed efforts to communicate with Chinese authorities. Every time, we responded to the claims with technical tests and field visits. We never found any irregularities. We also issued replies to Chinese authorities, but they never responded. China's grouper ban follows its ban on Taiwanese pineapple and wax apples. Premier Su Chang had strong words for Beijing. China is being utterly unreasonable. It should not violate international norms, but this is the way it is. It couldn't find a shred of evidence, and we provided our test results, but never received a response. This is political interference in trade, but Taiwan's government will not allow our fishery farmers to suffer. Last year, Taiwan exported some 6,681 metric tons of grouper. 90% of it was shipped to China, or about 36% of Taiwan's total grouper production. Between this January and May, Taiwan has already exported more than 3,000 metric tons of grouper to China and Hong Kong, so the ban will block an estimated 3,600 metric tons of export. To cushion the impact, Taiwan's agriculture ministry will work to adjust the industry's production volume and timeline. It plans to promote domestic sales and to help farmers expand their overseas markets.